Have you ever went into a store and bought an item that you really thought you wanted and you paid the price you're willing to pay any price for it because you just really wanted to have it? And even some people could have been telling you, hey, man, you know, you shouldn't really buy this. But you're like, nah, man, I got to have this item. I don't care what you say. I got to have this. So you take your stupid stuff out there and you pay full price for it. And at first, you are really excited that you bought this. You're really excited that you have this in your life. But then you find out that what you paid for it, other folks is getting it for a less price. That's ever happened to you before, hasn't? I mean, in Africa, it's happened to me many a times. You're overpaying. You find out you spent 10000 for something, somebody got the same thing for $2,000, and in fact, they got a better version. Then you wanna go back to that seller and you wanna ask that seller, why did you charge me that price for this item? But by then, already too late. The transaction is over and you got that sour taste in your mouth. This is what relationships are, man. This is what friendships are, but really in between men and women, a lot of guys get the sour end of the deal because we end up overpaying for something that wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth your time, it wasn't worth your money. And many times you had a better alternative right there, but A, you really wanted that particular thing despite the fact that somebody told you not to do it. Nobody is a greater example of this than our brother, Papoose. Why am I discussing Papoose? Because I have the utmost respect for him as a black man. He's a father, he is a mentor to the hip hop community, although I disagree on many of his stances that he takes, or at least some of the ones that I know about. He even has it in his Instagram profile. He's a husband, he's a loving father. This is something he gladly admits, especially in an era where men don't wanna take care of women in this day and age. Men don't wanna do that. Men don't want to be in that situation because they feel like they not get anything out of it. And what does this guy do? He comes up and steps to the plate, unfortunately, for the wrong woman. The worst thing that Pat Poos could have ever done in his life was to get with Remy Ma. And he should have saw the red flags. He was dealing with her when she was in the penitentiary. That's why she came out and admitted this on the podcast. I'm, I'm be yeah, Pat used to come see me literally every single day. So I was chilling. That's I was funny. like, so he came up every day, um, every visit for the first year. He came literally every single day. When you're in a match, you have a visit every day. Right, so it right, alters right. on the weekends, a Saturday right. or Sunday. So literally every the first day. year, How he far came is every day. Bedford Hills from, um, it's about 45 to an hour, depending on traffic. So he was running up there every day, like coming up there. Yeah. So like, I mean, it got to a point where I had to tell him like, yo, like I'm good. Am I right? Like, and I guess like when he believed it that that was all right, and I was like, he was like, all right, cool. And then he'd come, like a little bit less, he'll come like three times a week, or like you know, but he still it still seemed like he was there a lot. I spoke to him almost every, literally every day. I don't think a day went by unless I was locked that I didn't speak to him on the phone every day. When you first went, when you first got locked up, you and Pat wasn't married yet. No. So did you did you did you know that he was going to be there and stand up the way he stood up? No. Now this was a great love story. He stayed with her after she got a penitentiary she came was you know dressing up wildly and tasha k broke a story last year about her dealing with another dude i told y'all that remy ma and papoose are done i told y'all that papoose put hands on that little boy she messing with because that's a little boy that's not a grown man. Remy damn near 45, okay? Remy damn near 45 years old. This little boy works for her. He is trying to get a come up and rap. Remy Ma and Papoose were supposed to own this company together. And Remy Ma ends up sleeping, and I'm going to say allegedly, with the help. I got a call the day Papoose ran up on that little boy and beat his ass. I just got a picture that I posted in TashaKLive.com of her and the little boy. All, you know, you know, there were more photos because it was a wino, but they was having a private dinner. It didn't look like a couple. This has been going on, according to sources, for months. 
And Remy Ma honestly feels, and that's I think that's why she wearing all that little girl, that little girl clothing and shit. Like you know, she wearing like see through gowns and shit with bathing suits and stuff under. Yeah, like I saw her wear that to the BT Awards. So I'm like, oh, because I spent six years in prison. I'm really 35 or something like that. I'm not 45. No, you are old. Bitch. You are old. Bitch. You ain't got no business pouncing on this little boy. And then you taking him from city to city to do these battle raps, trying to get a come up. After you don't use your husband, oh my God, y'all watch this, watch this, y'all, just just watch this shit. When I tell you, when I tell you, my my sources, they ninety eight percent right, cause I'm dealing with people that's in the industry. Just watch this shit. Hold on, hold on. Now, easy to block. Captain admitted that he was punched in this leaked audio. So it's just like you know, as far as that, like, cause. It's just, how is that gonna work? How is it gonna work though now? Like, even if you go back with the ball, right? Which, all right, I'll come out, explain everything that happened. You'll be with each other, you was cheating on ball, such and such and whatever happens. Let's say love and hip hop, pick it up. You all get back together. How does now, I get a bag, you know what I mean? I get a little bag, I get a little check, couple little, you know what I'm saying? Such and such a, you know what I mean? I'm the ball that such and such a cheat. I'm around now, I'm a little, I'm a little, little bit so at the end of the day. It kind of fit, you know what I'm saying? Like, it fit everybody. That's so it's just like, you know, as far as that, like, cause it's just, how is that gonna work? How is it gonna work though now? Like, even if you go back with the ball, right? I'm saying I'm too comfortable. I should have knew me being in New York, me being at Ring I know I knew this nigga should have been plotting on me, cause I would have been doing the same thing. Yeah, I mean, this is gonna sit here. No blood, no nothing. No blood, no scratch, no nothing. He had two clean jaws. No blood. After this leaked audio, Remy Ma looked foolish. Uh, Papoose didn't even respond to it or at all. He didn't say anything. He didn't disrespect her. In fact, when he had a birthday party, she showed up with his daughter. Again, I don't know why she was there, but look at what she's doing now, okay? She's with another battle rapper hugged up with matching watches. Now, I don't know what this means, but this rapper is by the name of Bad News. But look how he's hugged up, look how she's dressed. And I wanna ask you a question. Is that a woman that, you know, you feel like is worth being married to? She still got her diamond ring on. Um, but look who, who, who she's dealing with. You only get matching watches if you're a couple. And this is another battle rapper, another guy who's not Papoose, another guy who's not on Papoose's level. I'm not saying the brother is a trash rapper. I'm not, I don't know what he got. But one thing I do want to classify is that if he got her, if he's dealing with her, then what the case is, is that he didn't put the effort in Papoose did. And so many black men go through this. So many men go through this in, in, in our life. And we have that sour um, taste in our mouth. We have that resentment towards a lot of women. And of course, women can play you. They can do things. But hey, you got to know what to invest in. A lot of us are investing in the wrong things. And we keep investing even though the chick shows us that she ain't worth investing in. And what we got to know how to do is to, you know, take our feelings out of it. See, it's some chicks, man, you can be around. You got a good vibe. They beautiful, they thick. You know, Remy Ma, she had big tatas. You know, she probably was cheek clapping it up. Booty clapping sounds and all of that, man. It's a great feeling when you really vibing with somebody. Both of them hip hop artists. Both of them want to see hip hop go get to the next level. So yeah, but that don't mean that's your wife though. That just mean I'm vibing with you. That mean I like you, but you don't have the qualities of a wife that I want. And so many black men, we have come in situations where we haven't seen marriages. We haven't seen what it takes. It takes hard work. And once you start putting out them signs of weakness and the woman is not ready to, you know, follow your leadership and y'all going half and half in the relationship as far as power is concerned. And then she start taking over the power of the relationship. And, and then you giving her the freedom to dress however she wants to dress. What, what do you think she's going to do? She's advertising for the next guy. And she's usually advertising for the next guy that will give her some more excitement and a less effort than you. And that guy going to get the same thing that y'all ass is getting. And you're going to be mad. You're going to be the upset one. You're going to be the one that's pissed off. You're going to be the one that's hurt. You're going to be the one that's disturbed. You're going to be the one that's that's messed up and jacked up. And that's what we get. 
we gotta start we gotta start ki kicking certain people out of our life man black men gotta look at these look at what the woman is doing look at that you can't change her and understand that she don't want to change bro she's a city girl she's a city girl man so if she's a city girl let her be a city girl stop getting mad at her for being a city girl you thought you, you thought you was gonna change her when you clapped her up you, her being around you ain't gonna change her she gonna do what she been doing and it's gonna be in your life it's gonna destroy what you got going get her the f out kick her get, get her out your life bro that's the what you can do get her out of there stop all this trying to change chicks and getting upset with them when they don't want to do what you need get them out that's all you gotta do get them out stop playing with them like that okay you ain't gonna take that stuff don't give them a chance to, you know, be they self and all that. They don't want to, you know, relationships got to have discipline. She don't want to have discipline as a woman. Let her ass go. I can guarantee you somebody else going to come through there, do what you need them to do. It's going to be good. Long as you do what you're supposed to do. But man, Papoose got, he got played. But he also played himself. Don't play yourself over a chick that ain't worth her, your time. He could have gave that time to somebody else, man. All for what? All for fail. You know, and still to this day, we don't see him acting like this. That's the thing about Papu. He's such a stand up guy. We don't even know what side chicks he got dealing with. If he dealing with anything at all, we never hear that from him. Why we hear from her though. Three or four in it up. So guys, what do you think it's your boy? O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again. The episode of The Celebrity Junk. Appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe to the bell. We're out.